In today's video, we will try to show you how to create a local area network using Tailscale apps and how you can connect to your remote computers from anywhere in the world using this Tailscale network. There are many traditional methods to connect remote computers via remote desktop, such as UltraViewer, AnyDesk, and TeamViewer. However, if we think a bit differently from these options, we can create a secure private gateway using Tailscale apps. Through this gateway, we can seamlessly connect our devices with each other in a safe and efficient way. As you can see inside the Tailscale apps admin panel, all our machines are visible. To achieve this, you first need to create an account in the Tailscale app and log in. In my case, I used a Google account, but you can use any account of your choice. Now, we will access a virtual computer that I have already set up. There, I will enable the remote option from that computer. To enable the remote option, I will go to the start menu and type remote desktop. From there, I will turn on the remote desktop feature. Enabling a remote desktop is one of the most crucial steps for using it, as without this, you won't be able to connect via a remote IP. In the next step, you need to open a browser and log in to Tailscale. To do this, first, sign in using Google or any other social media account of your choice. Now, we will first open a browser and log in to the Google account. In your case, you can log in with any other supported account. Next, we will open a browser and go to the search bar to look for Telescale. From the search results, we will enter the first Telescale website and log in. To log in, we will use a different Google account that we have already logged into. Here, I am using two separate Google accounts to make it easier for you to understand. This way, you can also support your clients similarly if needed. Here you can see I am selecting personal use, you can change it for your case. Now, you will be given options to download the Telescale client software based on your operating system. In my case, I am selecting the Windows option. If you are using a different operating system, you should download the appropriate software for your system from here and then proceed with the installation. Since I am connecting two separate computers using different accounts, I need to create an invitation from the first, main, account using an email address. This will allow the second account to be linked to the first account. From the user options at the top, you need to generate an invitation link. As you can see, I am creating the invitation link. After generating it, you can select the type of invitation link or leave it as is. Next, I will copy the generated invitation link and move to the second computer or our virtual computer, where I will use it to link the second account with the first one. You can also do this using a single account instead of multiple accounts. However, I am demonstrating it on two separate computers to show an alternative approach. This method ensures that you never have to share your own account with someone else. In some cases, such a system is used for client support. By using this approach, your email address remains private, preventing it from being exposed to others. Here, you can see two email addresses. The second email address is our main, mother, email, which is connected to our primary PC. When logging in, make sure to select the mother email address to establish the connection properly. Now, you can see an IP address here. This IP will be used for remote desktop login. The same IP is also visible inside the mother account. So, let's proceed and use this IP to log in to the remote desktop of our virtual computer. From here, we will copy the IP address and go to the start menu to select the remote desktop option. Then, we will try to log in using the copied IP. Let's see if the connection is successful. We can see that we have successfully connected the remote desktop and are now able to use the Telescale IP through it. Thank you all so much for watching the entire video. If you liked our videos, we kindly request you to stay connected with us. Please support our YouTube channel to encourage us to keep creating more content.